Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we took on the sewers, and we also got a bunch of money, butterfly pendants, all that good stuff. So let's take on this seemingly harmless red door. Um. Okay, I don't hear, I don't like the sound of that music. What's this? Hello? Yeah, this generally does not mean good music, or good, a good uh, thingy. What does this say? Castellian Memo. For many years, the Salazar family has served the Castellians in this castle. However, not everything is bright, for my ancestry has a dark past. Long ago, there was a religious group that had deep roots in the religion called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellian of the castle took, their, took away their rights and powers. As a follower of this religion, as of the eighth Castellian, I felt that it is my duty as well as my responsibility to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for this sin was to give the power back to those who once took it away from the Los Illuminados. As expected, it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once sealed lost Plagas. With this success, I was one step closer to the rev revival of the Los Illuminados. The reason why I was released from Las Plagas from d deep under the castle and gave them to the Lord Sadler was not only to repay from oh, shit. Uh, but I felt certain the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. To save those who have sinned with the power of the lost Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners. The way it was meant to be, once cleansed, they would become one of our many Ganados where they could find their reason to live. And after the Lord was, succeed, was had succeeded in creating the which had we have envisioned, the sins of the Salazar family would be atoned for. So that's why he's doing it. It's kind of weird, but eh, whatever. I'm not going to question his logic, so it doesn't seem like they have much logic in this freaking game anyway. Wait. I have an idea. A red herb. Alright, boom. As you can see, I organized my inventory. I'll do that like, after every episode, I'm thinking. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, this is wonderful. Um, there's a guy a sniper. I see him. Ow. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Take one of these hammers. Okay, okay. Oh, God. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not anywhere, I promise. Ah! Oh, that was cool. Good thing the black tail is really freaking powerful. Um. Bitch, I'm gonna suplex your ass. Boom! Didn't see that one coming out, did ya? So this is the route I always take for this room. Um, I'm not sure why they're even like doing this exactly, but I'm not gonna question. There's a bunch of pots here with money in it, so it's always good. Eh, no, I missed it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, a green herb. I'm getting really lucky with the green herbs here. I don't know if they're supposed to be in there, but they are for me. I don't know. I'll take the luck, I guess. Okay, so let's go in here quietly. Don't wake the neighbors. Oh, hello, guy up there. I see you. Ha! Noob. I'm gonna slice you to death. I'm gonna slice you to death. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I did it. Take your money, thanks. Oh, I remember this part. This part sucks. That guy over there, that red guy you saw? He gets a very powerful weapon soon. Where? Oh. Apparently he wants to come to this door, but he can't. Ha <laughs> ha. noob. You can't. Yeah, that guy becomes a giant nuisance. But, um, because if you let him get to the center of the room, he will pull out a giant ass sniper rifle and kill you. So. And I killed him. Yeah, he's a giant pain. Like, I wouldn't even. I'm not even going to show it off how much of a pain he is. So, that's kind of a demonstration of that room. <laughs> 
All right, get these. There's four thousand dollars. Get the shotgun shells. Always good. Like I said, I can I can be like pretending to be a nub at this game, but I'm really not. It's hard to be. It's hard for me to be bad at games nowadays. Like I'm sure you know I speedrun games. It's just like it's hard to be bad at games unless they're blind. Which RE6 will be blind, just letting you know that. Uh, I don't feel like I should be pl playing that game, uh, having practice, just because it's 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 a game I've loved for a long time. So I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll play it with some uh, dignity and not being, you know, totally proficient at it. Eh. Plus, I want to do it when, as soon as I get it anyway. So right, here's a puzzle that I actually don't know how to, don't know the solution of. So it's gonna be kind of random, but whatever. It'll be fine. All right. The sacrifice of six shall make the lives uh, make shall make way to the new path. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make it so the the total here is six people. As you can see now, it's nine people. I want to make it so it's six. Um, no. 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 Damage. Dang it, dude. Oh my god. I don't know the solution to this puzzle, dude. Is this it? Yeah, that's six. Alright, it's kind of gruesome. Like, legitimately. It makes me sad. Oh well. Let's go. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. And for this for this room I would recommend just going in here and just kind of camping out up here best solution I can come up with because they'll kind of funnel in and you can just kind of riot them down that's a good way good term to use ah. mind you those sides will kill you if they hit you well, I don't know if they'll kill you, but they'll do a lot of damage, and if it's enough to kill you, they will decapitate you. So you don't want to do that. Right, so once you make, once you can confirm that they're dead, you know what? I was like messing with you guys. Oh my god, dude! That was scary. I thought he was gonna kill me. Yeah, see, if they, if they hit you again when you're this low, then it'll kill you for sure. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? Ah. Ah. And now they have snipers, like, everywhere. Die. Die. Eh. Get off my case, old man. There we go. Why are there any people I killed? Oh my god, dude. Freaking hell. There. I want to heal just now. Uh, I'll use this. I don't want to waste any more ammo. Dude, I'm almost out of hanging ammo. Oh my god. TMP time. Go, go. Alright, I guess strategy for this guy is just like kinda do that. Or not, whatever. Er my good. Er my good.
for the record, that was rocket launcher, guys. Uh, not good. Ah. The whole point of this whole room is to get uh, the door unlocked, obviously. Uh, yeah, those, those oil lamps are really good for this. Yeah, rocket launcher guys are not fun. I'm just letting you know that right now. Rifle ammo. I'll take it. Did I get them all? Of course not. There. Alright, we're supposed to get... We're supposed to, um... Hit this right here, and this also this causes uh, the room to open. Oh, I need a security system. Cool. What they have kill them all? That was easy. Although I was kind of scared with that scythe guy. Ugh, not good. Okay, so let's get these spoils around here. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do for this fight. You're supposed to do it, I guess, just like going have balls on. But why would you want to do that? I don't know. All every god I've seen tells me to go to that room over there. So I don't know what they intended you to do there, but it clearly wasn't that. Okay. So what we want to do for this is get some handgun ammo, of course. Hit this thing right here. Deactivate it. Sorry if I skip cutscenes on accident. If I do, they're very minimal and they don't mean anything. Oh god. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Luckily those only those only really shoot once, so it's like it's not like it's a danger, and you can't kill them anyway, so. Uh oh, that music's coming back, man. Oh, God. That was close. Yeah, and that guys are useless weaklings, aren't ya? Oh, only one hit. Only one hit. I wish I would have known that before. I used like rifle ammo on them last time. Damn it. Alright, so open this up. And you get the goat ornament. Now, remember, um... The big ass like stone slab that covered our way before. And yeah, this is what this is for. Um, all of chapter three is pretty much getting this back, so kinda neat. Where where is this going to? Ooh, I remember this. This is fun part. I like this part. Alright. So this room is blocked. Can't get there. See? There's a lock there. We can go there later though, so it's fine. This is our only way. Okay. Go in here. There's some birds in here, but no need. Get this spinel. I'll take it. No need to get these. No need to hit those birds. They only give you a certain amount of ammo. But I have like five flash grenades. So there's birds up here I can get ammo from, which is nice. Not ammo, just stuff in general. Eh. Boom. Give me all the money. Yeah. Alright. Now this is actually a little secret room. As you can see, there's a chest in there. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but we can't get into it. But there's actually something... The love from another person might be able to get up there. We can't get up there now, but obviously we're going to need Ashley to get up there. So we'll come back to that later. Okay. Got all this ammo. We're going to need it for sure. This next part's probably the scariest part of Resident Evil 4. In my personal opinion, there's only one part in this game that's even remotely more scary than this, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Anybody who's played this game before. Okay, okay so let's go. Now, the good news is there's a lot of spoils in this part, so. Um, uh, the maze. The dreaded maze! Uh, I hate this part. Salazar's a bitch. Just saying. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am. Even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis. 
Who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? I like how he kind of just like talks to himself for a second there. Because I have to kind of like specify. The whole point of this part is to open this little door right here. Two moons make one. So I might have mentioned before in like the very beginning of the episode. In the very beginning of the let's play using a moonstone. Yeah, this is where it's all going to go for. Now, for those of you who haven't played this game before, you know this part has a lot of um, enemies in it. It's a better word to use. But they're not just any enemies. They are... Wait for it. God, I hate this part. Ah, they're wolf enemies. Wolf enemies. Uh... Wolf enemies are bad. They're bad for fury. No. Oh god. Where are they at? Hello. Alright. Little tip. They're weak against fire. So just kind of go like... I did it. mean but they they want to kill me too so it's kind of justified yeah um these are the wolves i'm not sure what they're called like what their full names are but i don't like them just as a little note as you couldn't tell already this is the part of the game that has scared me the most when i was younger some shotgun shells in here i think it's like five yeah Goodness is a week to the TMP, it seems. They only do like 10 bullets to the face. Which is nice. This is why I love the TMP. It's so freaking overpowered, dude. Okay. As you might have noticed, there's another cage over there. There are some wolves over there, which is not good. Um, let's go over here and get some moonstone. There's a the moon's two moonstones are on each half of the uh of the like there's half on one fountain and half on another. So, uh, that's our destination. Or our yeah. Ah, loud sounds are bad for me. Bitches. A lot of dogs, dude. Not cool. I don't like how many dogs you have, brah. If it wasn't obvious, there's one over there. Or a couple dogs over there. Let's just take this little shortcut here. Get this. PMP ammo. There's yellow orb somewhere around here. I'm not sure exactly where it is, though. I think it's, like, over there, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Um, I think it's most of them, actually. You can hear one in, the, in like, the far away distance. If you can, if you can, you can probably hear it. But that's just them, that's just them, because it's, it's always spawned. Unless he's running to me. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Where is he? Where is he? Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Fucking hell, dude. This is so bad. Ugh. Me hate freaking dogs that are vicious. It's like a big ass, it's like a huge fear of mine. Um. I want that over there. How do I get over there? It's a good question. I think I should go down here. Wait, hold on. Let's let's map this out. Uh, I have the moonstone, so I don't need to. I don't need to finish this area. But there's. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> like these dogs legitimately scare me. Like I don't know why they do, but they do. Maybe because of a lot of noise they make. I guess I don't know. Then you can like hear them chasing you. Die, dude. Thank God. Okay. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Okay, it's just me. Where's that noise coming from? But it was just me, so it's all good. Hmm. I guess this game isn't as not scary as I thought it was. It's funny, I've actually been scared by this game more than I have of the other Resident Evil games. I don't even play those. I play these as... Like, I guess I... Mm, 
I can't say I haven't beaten that game more than this game, but still, like, I guess with surrounds on headphones is a little worse because you're like, oh my god, it's like right there. Alright, so we got the moonstone. Let's go ahead and open that door. I'm assuming it's the end of the chapter, so I'm just gonna. There's a cutscene, so I'm just not gonna talk. Let's combine. Let's combine the two first, though. Alright, combine and uh, use. Use the blue moonstone. Huh. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! And that's the end of chapter 3 too. Ada is back and apparently in full action. And next episode, we're going to be taking on chapter 3-3, the end of the third chapter, alright? See you guys then. My accuracy sucks.